Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a text-to-speech software called Listener. Now, in this Listener review, I wanna show you exactly what Listener does, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if Listener is right for you. Now, just to let you know, they are currently having a lifetime deal launched, so if you wanna get Listener at a one-time price, make sure you check out the link in the description for more information. Okay, so first of all, what is Listener? It is a text-to-speech software, which basically means if you input text into its engine, it is going to spit out a voiceover file. Now, this is perfect for people who want to create voiceovers for YouTube, or if you wanted to create your own podcast, and you can also use it to transform your old blog posts into voice files. And there's also a Chrome extension that you can use, which reads all of the text on your page. So that's also a nice feature that they've added. And to be honest, the voiceover that comes from a listener is very impressive compared to others out there. I believe there's over 100 voices from multiple different languages and countries. So it is a very comprehensive tool. So what I'm going to do is actually jump behind the screen and show you listener. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start here on the listener website. What I wanna do first is go over the different features just in case I miss out on any during this product review. And then I'll go over the non-lifetime deal pricing and then also go over the lifetime deal pricing. So the first thing you'll probably notice as well is they are quite marketing heavily to podcasts. And this is because they're extremely generous with their plans and their allowances, which is really nice to see. A lot of competitors are actually very stingy um, with their pricing plans. So if we go to the features, you'll see they have over 100 natural and human sounding voices in 22 different languages and four different dialects for all voices. So that's pretty cool. They also have an automatic RSS feed for your podcast. You can also host your podcast on this platform. There's also social sharing uh, functionality, custom podcast page and an embeddable audio player. So that's all you really need to know inside of here. If you scroll down on the homepage as well, you'll also see um, some different variations of the uh, voices that they have, but I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like on the dashboard. Just before I do though, here is the current listener pricing. You've either got yearly or monthly build. For monthly, you can have up to 30,000 words per month for nine bucks. For 20 bucks a month, you can get 100,000 words per month. And there's also an agency plan, which I believe might have an unlimited. It doesn't actually state. So that's all pretty cool. There's also a free trial. So now let's look at the listener lifetime deal. I'm just gonna quickly go over it. So the different pricing plans you can get for the one-time price, you have here the $79, which gives you 75,000 words per month. One thing that's unheard of in the industry is the rollover unused credits get put into your account. So. I mean, if you didn't even use this tool for a few months, you'd start generating or accumulating hundreds of thousands of words that you can even use. So if you buy it this at one time price, it's just gonna keep growing over time um, or, else you'll, or else you'll get 75,000 words per month. So it's, it's pretty impressive. So if we compare this on the 75,000 words per month, say versus the $20 per month, that's 100,000 words per month. So you're just getting slightly less, and that means in what, less than four months, you've pretty much made your money's worth. So it's, it's an incredible deal. Once again, if you wanna check it out, there's a link in the description. Okay, so here we are in my listener dashboard. As you can see, it's a very simple dashboard, nothing too complicated on here. I'm on the 75,000 word per month limit. It's got white labeling, it's got analytics, unlimited podcast hosting shows and conversions, which is really nice. I haven't got any uh, voiceovers added inside of here yet or podcasts. I deleted everything just so I could show you what it would look like if you got started. And on the left here, it's just simple navigation dashboard. Uh, podcast, it's gonna show all your podcast episodes you created. Same thing with voiceovers. Then you've got audio player settings and settings. So let's get stuck into it. I'm gonna go ahead first of all and create a voiceover. So what I'm gonna do for this example is actually go to this article I've written called uh, WooFunnels Review, View, right? So um, what I'm gonna do is just call this WooFunnels Review. like so. And what I'm gonna do is just steal a bit of the content out of it. So maybe I'll just do, um, say this much, right? So what I'm gonna do is just paste it inside here. And now it's gonna break it up into little paragraphs. My little Grammarly is gonna come in here and tell me how bad I am at actually grammar. So I'm just gonna 
fix all these things. So this looks good. Now let's have a look at the different options you have for customizing it, right? So we have here voice, which is Matthew Neural, English US. We've got voice style, which is regular. We've got pauses, which you can actually um, play with the pauses and I'll go through those in a moment. We've got pronunciations, speed and audio output. So let's have a look at some of the voices, right? So first of all, uh, mine has got Matthew Neural here because I've just used that in my last voiceover demo. But we have got multiple different languages inside of here. You can choose whichever one you want. Um, there's plenty of English ones, right? So there's more. There's, I'm sure there's enough for everyone inside of here. Funnily enough, they have an English one, which is cool. But for this example, I'm just going to choose US as majority of my audience is in US. Now we also have here premium voices and standard voices. So there's plenty to choose from. So what I'm going to do is show you some examples and hopefully you can hear them. With cloud machine learning, your application interprets images, texts, and so much more. So that sounded pretty amazing. That was on the standard voice and that was John. So let's have a look at some premium ones. This is Lisa. With cloud machine learning, you can convert text into realistic speech. So that also sounds not too bad. So we'll, we'll do a couple more. This is the one I'm currently using. Matthew, I, I love this one. It sounds really good. Hey there, we are using cloud machine learning to bring you this amazing voice. Yeah, I think this one's actually really good. And also one more, Kevin. With cloud machine learning, you can convert text into realistic speech. Cool. So I'm going to choose Matthew once again. He's got that nice, nice, like raspy kind of voice. And what you want to do is come across voice style, see if there's any other options. A lot of the time there won't be, but you can just choose one if there is. So pauses, what we can actually do is modify the amount of pause that each one of these has so what i can actually do is uh, stretch it out a bit by making the comma a little bit longer which i like um, so i'm going to leave it at that pronunciations you can change um, replications here so the new pronunciation we saved so if they say a word wrong you can change it which is really cool you've also got speed if you want it faster or slower and audio output you can have mp3 wave and you can also have 16 kilohertz or 24 so i'm just going to leave all those as is and what i'm going to do is um, you can highlight it and actually just play certain parts of it but i'm pretty happy with it so far so i'm going to go ahead and press convert now last time i did this it took uh well it's actually done so that didn't take long at all um so it's a 58 second clip uh, it took what three seconds to actually um, complete so let's have a listen to it and see how it sounds WooFunnels is a wordpress plugin that allows you to create sales funnels inside of your website you can also integrate it with woocommerce allowing you to take payments add in checkout cards get customers and turn your wordpress website into an e-commerce store what makes WooFunnels stand out compared to its competitors however is the ability to create automation based on your customers engagement so that's really, really cool. I really like how it sounds. It, it sounds legit. It sounds like a very good voiceover. Now, for some times, there's like little parts of it that I wish he had pauses. So you, what you can do is actually come back through and put in these little commas along the way. So it actually just breaks it up a little bit more. And you just li keep listening to it and going through all of it um, and putting in pauses where you need it to go. Once again, all the different types of pauses are here. So if you want to change the, uh, the length of time that these actually happen, you can do so. You can customize them how you want. Um, but once they're done, then it's going to be pretty much done like that. So I would say go through, put in all the pauses and everything that you need to, convert it one more time. It's only going to take what a couple seconds which is really good and then go ahead and click on save so i've only used 168 words as you can see it's only allowing me to do 5,000 words per time so it's it's quite a lot considering blog posts are about what a thousand words usually if you're in a podcast which is like an hour or two hours you might have to split it up a little bit um, but regardless this is a very very powerful tool now as you can see it also tells you how long the clip is so i'm going to go ahead and save it now while I'm here, I should probably show you about the highlight text to add effects because it's showing up there. So we've got the play, which is going to play it for you. We've also got the pause. And inside here, we've got like these random spell out number digit things. I'm not actually too sure what that does. And we've also got the year, month and day. I believe it's going to read it out for you depending on your current thing. And also there's substitutes. For example, if you um, had a word here and it wasn't good, you could press a sub substitute and it can substitute the entire thing. I haven't played around with this enough, but that's my interpretation of everything. 
but I'm pretty happy with the way it is, so I'm going to exit out of it. I'll just save it one more time in case I uh, change something. Okay, so that's all saved. Now, if I go to my voiceovers, you can see it's here. All I can do is click download voiceover and it's going to download directly to my computer, like so. And now I've got a voiceover. I can also change the audio player settings if I want to embed this on my website somewhere. You can also change the colors, things like that. Um, you can put in your own branding, all that good, good stuff as well. You can see every time you save it, it also takes off the credit, which is cool. But that's pretty much it. It's extremely easy to use, right? Um, I can't really say too much more about it. It's a very simple to use player. Now, podcast is the same exact thing. Press start a podcast. You can create your own or you can import one. I'm just going to create one. Choose the show name. So I'm just going to call this Phil's show. Author is Phil. Um, description. This is a podcast about marketing. Right. Category. Just choose a category you want to use. So I'm going to choose maybe entertainment. Entertainment's a pretty good one. And then I just uploaded an image. It was just the first one I saw in my files. Now I'm going to press create show. So you have to fill out all these for it to actually work. And then about 10 seconds later, it's gone ahead and actually created our show like so. And now you can create an episode and you can start doing the same exact thing once again. Once And then just to keep in mind, the pauses are probably going to be your best friend. Um, so once you actually create and convert this particular um, podcast, you can make sure the pauses are perfect. There's nothing worse than um, too fast or too slow pauses, so you can do it there. And you can also upload them as well if you wish by uploading the audio file there. So it's as easy as that. So I'm pretty stoked with Listener. What I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen and talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Listener. Now I have to admit, I am very impressed with the software. I've reviewed a few different uh, AI text-to-speech softwares before. There's been some terrible ones. This one is one of the better ones for sure. And the pricing that's going on right now is literally unbeatable. So I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. It's going to be a gem once the lifetime deal is done. But apart from that, I think this tool is created perfectly for its purpose. For those people looking for something with big limits to actually create podcasts, this is going to be your tool. But apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you're thinking about getting listener once again, lifetime deal link is in the description. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.